I can't look like this anymore. I want to be a fit father. I can already hear the voice saying, Daddy, come play with me, come run with me. Right. And me sitting on the sideline saying, I can't. And I will see you on the flip side. Peace. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I got Coach Tony Drake with me in the house. Uh, part two. Yes. In the first part, we covered his journey. Um, and then the second part, we're going to dive into how Tony used the knowledge um, to better himself, to help other people. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. We like to rise, grind, and conquer the day. And so part two is here. Yes. Another opportunity to really just get my story out, right? And so I, I just feel very, very privileged to be back on here with you. So, you know, you were talking about your journey of losing weight um, mm -hmm. and actually yo-yoing a little bit, becoming a professional wrestler, yeah. trimming down so you could be seen in Japan. Mm -hmm. And then after you stopped, you regained a lot of weight. How many pounds was that again? So I, I, I lost 80 pounds on my first weight loss journey. Kept that off for 12 years because I was doing professional wrestling for 12 years. Yes. So once I completed my wrestling dream or conquered my wrestling dream, right. from there, I ended slowly going back up, right, yeah. to 308 pounds. I literally got down to about 250, 245. Now, going from 200 and let's say 55 pounds to 308 pounds, yeah. makes a big difference, right? So my old habits started kicking back up yeah. once I retired from wrestling. What, what did we call them, fathletes? Fathletes. Yeah, you yeah. became a fathlete, bro. Yes, I did. <laughs> For yes. the second time. And it wasn't fun. <laughs> It was not fun because I didn't realize how much I gained the weight once I was done wrestling. Yeah. So like then seeing you gain weight on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't notice it because it right. keeps up, right? Right. So anyway, so you gained this weight and what happened then? So I kept that on for quite some time. Yeah. Right? But then I found out that my wife and I were going to have our firstborn, our daughter. Yeah. And looking the way I did at the time, I'm like, I can't look like this anymore. I want to be a fit father. So when, when we found out we were having a daughter, I was like, I need to be that fit father. It's a new chapter in my life, right? I want to be a healthy husband, yes. uh, be a fit father. I can already hear the voice saying, Daddy, come play with me, come run with me. Right. And me sitting on the sideline saying, I can't. I can't even tie my shoe. Yeah. Oh, here I come. Let me well, I mean, like, if you weigh 308 me. pounds with a belly like that, everything, everything is harder, right? Well, the other thing is this, too. If I got up to 308, I can easily get to 330. I can of easily course. get to 400. Of course. Right? If I kept those habits. Well, it's, 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 it's statistically proven that people who go on diets oftentimes rebound back to their original weight and then more within two to five years. That's why I don't believe in diets. No, I don't either. Because once you go on a diet, you typically can go off a diet. Yeah, you, you do need to have systems. It's not, it's not, yeah. It's a lifestyle, yeah. right? Exactly. So I already visioned that, and this is what I didn't want to happen. Okay. So I just made the change, and from April of 2019 to November of 2019, I dropped nearly 70 pounds. So when you and I met seven years ago, you barely started plant-based. Yes. Was that kind of the time when you were cutting weight and like, no. Nope, I was still gaining. I was still, you were still a, gaining. A guy, yeah. On plant-based. Yeah. Because people ask me this all the time, man, you look kind of buff, how do you do it on plant-based? I'm not plant-based anymore, I flex now. Yeah. But I was plant-based for almost 10 years. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, but I didn't understand what I was putting in my body. Of course. Then so, we can all need some help with that, including yours truly here. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But yeah. yeah, okay, so yeah. So from there, you know, I, I, I didn't realize what I was putting into my body. I didn't really understand switching over into a plant-based lifestyle. Yeah. What to take in, right? Well, because you can eat a lot of processed food that's plant-based and that's it's hella that's unhealthy as well. Yeah. Right, so that's what I was doing. And so once I realized like, okay, let's start switching some foods up. Oh, and let's incorporate intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. Which I started getting a lot of information on. My wife found out a lot about it. She started telling me about it. And then right. from there, when I incorporated it, I just became so disciplined because now I had a vision. And that right. vision was being that fit father for my daughter. Right. right? So my wife already like, she's like, no, I, I, you look great. And I'm like, thank you, but I don't feel comfortable on my yeah. own body. Yeah, no, understandable. Right? And having those childhood traumas, you know, being bullied, being spit on, being told I'll never be anything in life because I was this fat That's kid. That's lovely. Yeah. It's still sitting in my head. No, I believe, very it. Day. I, I, I right? believe it. So 
Then I made that change and when I lost nearly 70 pounds, I was able to also build muscle and burn fat simultaneously. So I incorporated this whole new regimen, this whole new discipline, this whole new lifestyle and, and being able to do that within an eight month, seven and a half month span, I'm like, this is the new lifestyle that I'm gonna live forever. Right, right. So now it's been three and a half, almost four years. Okay. Right? My daughter will be four soon. And from there, it's like I've adapted the discipline so well yes. that my mindset is now saying you're undeniable. Why? Because you've done it twice and can't nobody tell you anything. I don't right. care what certification you bring in front of me and go, sure. I'm a certified cook. That's, that's cool. I feel loud. But I lived it. Right. So mentally, I understand the pain, the problems, the ailments. The snoring during the, my sleep because you were too heavy. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, it makes no sense. So, learning about my body, learning about my whole mindset shift, my okay. whole mindset change has really made a big impact. That makes perfect sense. So now that your mindset shifted and changed, yeah. when did you decide, hey, I can teach this, I can help people, I can make a difference in people's lives, right? Right. So in 2019, when my coworkers started to see my body change, yeah, and they saw the energy change too because I was feeling more vibrant, mm. more healthy, mm -hmm. right? They were like, well, how are you doing it? And so I would sit and talk to them and the interest that I received from people, I didn't see it. My coworker saw it. Right. So he told Again, me, your, your own journey is gradual, right? Yeah. But your coworkers like, who may not like fully recognize you every day, but then they're like, holy cow, that's a big change. Yes. Yeah. I feel yeah. that. So he said, he, he's from India. Okay. Right? He was like, you need to be a personal trainer. I'm like, I'm not about to sit there and, and count to 10. Right? And no knock on personal trainers. One, two, trainers. three, four, yeah. five, six. There's no, uh, it's fun to do it with a friend, but of course, you know, if that, you don't want that to be your life. If, right. If that's not, you know, what you aspire to do. Right. I get that. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, you're talking to people and they're, they're just watching you like this and they're just smiling and they seem so happy. Yeah. And so I didn't know anything about coaching. Right. And so when I started to hear more about it, then I started to kind of pick that up. So a hobby turned into a passion. Right. And then my passion is now turned into my business. So yeah. there's the coworker who recognizes your gift, but how do you go from, okay, somebody rec re is recognizing that to yeah. getting your first client? Like, I mean, what, just briefly show us the transition. Like, yeah, so how it, did that happen? It, it was on social media, right? So okay. on Instagram, I kept showing my weight loss pictures. Yeah, yeah. And people were like, can you help me? And I'm mm. like, sure, no problem, right? So people were hitting you up, can you help with that? Yeah, but awesome. I was helping friends because yeah. it was either friends from wrestling, sure, that, you know, or friends from my old job. Fat fleets from like, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, how did you do it, right? And I'm just like, I've told them, I'm just like, I just did intermittent fasting and I watched yep. what I ate. They're like, can you help me? And I just did it. Yeah. Right, but it was a lot of time consumption. Sure, of course. So I reached out to one of our really, uh, we call him family, right? Okay. Um, and he's my older brother's best friend and uh, his name is Paul Vaden. He used to be a, a, a like champion boxer. Okay, wow. So I reached out to him and, and I noticed he was doing a lot of motivational speaking and that's the path that I want to take. Okay. And so I said, hey Paul, like, what do you think if I get certified and this coaching, yeah. right, through ISSA. And he's like, gave me the green light. So now if somebody says, well, are you certified? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you lost 130 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you helped other people? Yeah. Fantastic. You can't, you can't be denied. Right. Amen. You know, being certified through ISSA. Yes. I was able to get the certification. Check that box. Of course. Because okay. people ask, right? Yeah. 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 Very few people ask, but they've already seen my transformation, which kind of speaks for itself. Right. So I lost 130 pounds. I'm helping change other people's lives, and then I get the certification. Excellent. Good job, right. brother. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Because no, really it's a journey, right? Like, it it's is. like, it's worse than learning how to ride a bike. And that's the other thing, too, is that when you find a coach yeah. that specifies in what you're looking for, it's not literal, yeah. but it's almost like taking a shortcut right. to conquer your goals. So if you want to live healthier, lose some weight, and change your mindset, mm -hmm. do you have a coach right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, that, and that's yeah. been the biggest yeah. privilege because it's not just local that I'm yeah. helping people change their lives. It's international, it's worldwide. Right. So not you're having international clients as well? International as well. At a yeah. boy. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. You know, Thank one you. of the things that I wanted to ask you, right? People are always full of excuses. No, I don't have time. Right. No, uh, you know what? Like, if I were like you and I only had one child, oh, if I was 
you know, structurally built like you to start with, yeah. I would change. But like, what are some of the biggest excuses that you typically hear? Uh, you mentioned one, time. I don't have time. Oh, money is right. probably one too, right? Well, time is number one. Yeah, time is number right. one, all right. I don't, have, don't we all have just 24 hours in a day? We do, yeah. yeah. But when you tell yourself, I don't have time, yeah. well, you'll go spend time watching Netflix. Netflix, wine. You'll, you'll spend time football, the movies. Yeah. You'll spend time complaining. Oh, amen. Nobody talks about that one, though. Yeah. When you're at work <clears throat> or wherever setting you are, and you're talking with somebody else and you complain, 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 add, add all that time up and see yeah. how much time you, you actually spend complaining. When you when I start to point that out, and I even say this on my TikTok Live, is when you make the time, you make a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. If you keep that right here, your whole day changes. Because yeah. you start to realize, oh yeah, I need to make the time to get up early in the morning. I need to make the time to prepare my food. And then instead of doing, and when you do that, you start pushing away the words, I don't have time. Oh, absolutely. Today, right. Like we make the time to do stuff and that's, right. you know, get clear about what you want, right? Yeah. When you don't prioritize things, then it's going to become chaos. Right. Yeah. So, the, so number two is structure because this is the question that I ask. So I'll say, well, just kind of give me a rundown about your day. What do you do? Well, mm -hmm. I'll wake up in the morning and, you know, start getting ready for work. <clears throat> or I'll work from home. I'll say, okay, so you get up in the morning, you, you know, whatever you got to do, brush your teeth, take a shower. I said, and then what happens from there? Well, I check my emails. Yep. Well, so they go, I check this, and then I go to work, and then I do this, and this, and this, and this. I say, so at the end of the day, you've realized you've taken care of everybody else but yourself. Exactly. And then I get this. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah. And I'm like, that's why you got to switch it. Right. And creating awareness for that is always step number one, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So structure, well, I would say, is another one. But they don't realize it until I call it out. So, so now that we got this, what is one of your biggest challenges in being a coach, right? Like doing your work personally, but then also working with clients. Sometimes I take it too personal. Yeah, I believe because it. I want my team to win. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so when they don't show up on Mondays, because every Monday is accountability. Right. Right. So you do your way. So in, in your coaching practice, you, the, the way people will picture it is you have a group conference call. People dial in on Monday mornings. Is that fair to say? Uh, group coaching calls on Sunday. They do their way in and progress photos on Monday. Okay. And send them to me. Send because them to you. Because I set their goals up for the week. And then do you share that out with the group or how? Individual. Individual. So yeah. you're talking with them one on one. Yeah. And then if they don't show up, that's what's hitting you hard. Yeah. Because yeah. that's it. look, I got three jobs. You got two. My three jobs are to customize your meal plan, customize your training, and motivate you and, and set your goals for you every week. Those are my three jobs. Wow. You have two jobs. Execute everything I set up for you and show up every Monday. Right. If you can't show up, the game is over. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I, I take it personal because I'm like, look, I want you to win, but you're not doing your part. If you're not doing the work, there's no way to win. Right. right. So that's one of the biggest challenges that I have when it comes to coaching. No, that makes perfect sense. You know what's interesting to me is why. Like, I'd like to know your why, right? What moves you to coach people and change their lives? What would that be? Yeah, so what I realized is that I had a, I didn't realize how much of a passion I had when it comes to changing somebody's mindset and body for greatness. Yeah. I never even thought about that. Yeah. But I hear so many complaining, <clears throat> so many complaints. Of course. When I hear so many, I can't. When I hear, they always told me that I can never do it. I lived through all that. Sure. I lived through all that stuff. I told you, like, picked on, spit on. I've had sodas and Slurpees thrown at me. I was bullied. I was told I'll never be anything in life, right? Yeah. So, when people, when I hear people say that, it's always, it's almost like I'm hearing myself again. Right. But this time I have a solution. Right. So from there, once I offer that solution and they take it, they come back and go, wow, like, you either changed my life or you saved my life. And to hear people say that, is, saving, I just love it. Saving somebody's life. I mean, like, look, that's a lot, right? And it tells yeah. you how much of a need there is. Yeah. So kudos to you for having that impact. Thank can you. you, can you, yeah, you bet. Can you maybe share one little story how, you know, why somebody would have said to you, hey, you saved my life. Can you give us a little context? Yeah, so there was a, there's a guy, uh, he's up in Northern California, and he said, Dude, I've seen your transformation. Yeah. He's like, I lost my father when I was young. He was 38 years old. I've lost a couple of my best friends who were in their 40s. He's like, and I'm 46. Right. He's like, I don't want to be that next next statistic. Yeah. Right. And I'm Did so he lose fearful. his father to like heart attack? Or yeah, it was preventative. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. And so he's like, I don't want to be the next one. Can you please help save my life? Was he severely overweight as well? Yeah, he was like 341 pounds. How tall? 5'8". That's a big boy, right? Yeah. But when he said that to me, like some people will say, can you help me lose weight? No problem. Right. Right. Can you help me build muscle? No problem. This guy said, can you save my life? Yeah. That's, that's completely different. That's profound. And and usually what I do is I have people, you know, book a call, right? They go through this this structure. Yeah. Book a call. We talk on Zoom, blah, blah, blah. When he messaged me on Instagram and said, can you save my life? I just said, forget that structure. Right. Call me right now. No, because it's important. It's vital. Yeah. Right? You can lose weight, sure. But saving somebody's life, Oof. that's Oof. like right at the top. <laughs> Goosebumps, bro. <laughs> right at the top. Right? Seriously, like. Yeah, I mean, and, and for somebody to have the vulnerability to realize if I'm not taking action, I'm going to be the next statistic and yeah. then having the vulnerability to reach out to you. One thing I will say is I had the opportunity to observe one of Tony, a uh, coach, Tony Drake's conference yeah. calls. And to me, it was so wonderful to listen in or be a fly on the wall because the amount of empathy and sh support Tony shares. It's just like second to none. I've always been very helpful because I, I always try to support, but seeing another brother do that just made my day. So yeah. so thank you for, for right doing on. that and helping your boy. Yeah, so, so you saved his life. Yeah. So he's, he's <laughs> down about like, not only is he down 50, about 55, 60 pounds yeah. in five months. Five months. Okay. 50 pounds in five months. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. But yeah. here's the other cool thing too. He works at like a retail store. He was a, a manager. Yeah. Right? So he lost the weight, he feels much better, his mindset has changed, he yeah. got promoted to regional manager. Oh wow. And he feels much better. A lot of people are giving him those compliments, yeah. right? And they're noticing and now he's making an impact on other people. Because he mentors as a, as a manager, that's so wonderful. It's kind of like going back to like taking that shortcut. Right. Right. So I understand the pain, <clears throat> I understand the, the, the tribulation that you're yeah. going through, but once you conquer those goals and you start to elevate in your lifestyle. Yeah. Other people see it and they're like, can you help me? Like, I got you. Yeah. And I want to add one thing to that. We have the saying, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? Yeah. So now if you're around a person like you who helps be accountable, who helps on the motivate on the motivation front, yeah. not only will you go up personally, but like you just said, then he's capable of lifting other yeah. people up. Yeah. But if your mind is in the gutter, if your health is in the gutter, if you're stressed, overworked, unstructured, and you just watch Netflix to decompress yeah. and drink your little wine or beer or whatever that may be, you will not have the capacity to have an impact on other people's lives right. or your own life, first of all, right? right? And if you're not okay with yourself, it's very hard to carry other people, in my opinion. Yes, fact, yeah. like you can't complain and conquer at the same time. Amen. You can't. So, ladies and gents, uh, we're, we're nearing the end of our part two, yep. but one thing Tony relayed to me is, um, we want to have questions from you guys for him that we can address uh, that maybe, you know, things that you're chewing on, yeah. things that aren't clear, play, ways to like improve, better yourself, all that stuff. Like yeah. any questions you have for Tony and myself, fire away, leave them in the comments, send me a direct message via Instagram. My IG handle is going to be in the show notes as well, as well as Tony's information. Yeah. So, um, but Tony, what else do you have on your mind? Um, I just want to echo what you said. Yeah. Right. And first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for watching this channel. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Thank I you. I want to get this out there to as many people as possible. Yes. So what I, what I ask of you is the same thing I ask on my TikTok live is that when you address a question, let it relate to mindset or body transformation. We want to make it big because there's a lot more answers for people who are watching, let's talk about the bigger picture because yeah. that can lead you a lot further in life. Right. Right. So submit those questions. And what I would love to do is read those questions off and answer them because you never know your question and my answer can oh, help so, so many, many people. other people. Yeah, I agree for sure. Yeah. There, there was three things that I said, said uh, a while back and on my live, right? How fast can I lose weight? How long will it take for me to lose weight and how quickly? Everybody's different, right? Right. If I said I could lose 20 pounds in two days, you're going to go try to do that same thing and be so disappointed because you're trying to compare your lifestyle to mine. Don't do that. Right. Right. Mindset. That's yes. where I like to get in on. Okay? And, and also, I feel like this thing with how fast can I do anything? Yeah. Why, what, why do you have to do anything so fast? Why don't you build like, like Tony said, 
a lifestyle that enables you to get to where you want to be permanent, right? right? Right. And I think that's so key. Right. That's, you know, well, if you, if, you have, if, you could, if you have two feet planted on the earth, make the best of that time. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try to rush it. Like keep those right. feet, feet planted and just walk slowly and enjoy the journey. One step, one day at a time. That's it. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gents, boys and girls, yeah. Tony Drake yeah, on the sure. show. So great to have you. Oh yeah. We are so grateful for you guys watching and taking the time out of your busy day um, to watch this. Um, share it with anybody who gets some value out of it because that would help us. Yep. Um, leave your comments in the show note. Again, you can directly message me. You can find out uh, what's your IG handle just to throw it out there. IG, Twitter, uh, TikTok, all of it is Coaching by Drake. YouTube as well. Coaching by Drake, now YouTube as well. Yeah. So you can hit Tony directly up. You can hit me up. But thank you guys. Have a wonderful morning, day, uh, evening, wh wherever you may be. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side. That's right. Let's get it. All right. Give okay. me a hug, brother. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's thank go. You, Peace. All right. Yeah.